hearts and she knows, well I hope she does, that I love her and that... <laughs> Growing up, we pretty much did everything together, uh, unfortunately for Teresa. She would always test the boundaries and then I'd come in after, and so I knew what to do and what not to do. <laughs> yes, I would say I was the black sheep, <laughs> so she was always the responsible one, um, and I was always the one testing the boundaries, um, but she was loyal, she, she stayed with me, um, whether it was good or bad, so I'm really grateful. Um, and that's grown over the years and I'm really proud now to be a bit more of an elder sister and um, to support her in her dreams. Uh, when our grandparents came over, they were first generation Samoan, so they had to really forge their own path in New Zealand. And so they were always making sure that it wasn't just about them, it was about the village and the wider village of the Samoan community. If we're in this position, um, that we're serving not just our own families and our own agendas, but making sure that we're trying to lay a platform or, or set up some pathways for the next ones coming through, um, and, and really make sure that we make our people proud. I know that my sister and I are very passionate about helping the community and so our family uh, taught us that if you have something to give, to always give. That's our goal as Pacific women is we don't um, want to take it for granted and so yeah, we'll try and give back as much as possible. Um, it took me a bit longer to understand that and to live that, um, but T's always been that way. She's helped me when I had babies as a solo parent. She was studying for med school and also holding baby and feeding one of them. She was out training at you know all hours of the morning or at night. So I've always admired her work ethic, but also just her as a person. Fundamentally, she's just a good person. I'm very lucky to have a big sister, I know that not everyone is blessed with one and so for me to have someone to look up to, she's always had my back. Seeing her at the Olympic Games, we were all in the lounge um, as a family and seeing that final moment of them getting the gold, uh, we all cried. Very emotional for our whole family. To be able to go to the Commonwealth Games together would be very surreal. I didn't think I'd still be playing netball and I know she's still got a lot of years left in her so she's probably just about hitting her prime whereas I'm probably on the way out of the door so I think that would be awesome and, and to know that we've done everything together through life. I'm just proud that I've been able to, to live this journey with her. If I can support her uh, to get there um, then that in itself I'd be happy with.